All right, everyone, welcome back to yet another video in my latest Unreal tutorial series where we cover pretty much everything that the engine has to offer. Um, multiplayer focused, of course, and yeah, beginner slash advanced slash whatever. Uh, see if you can follow along, let me know if you can't. Um, this is what we have so far. Um, some locomotion with some leaning. We have our sprinting. We can jump and roll when we land. And some dodges. And that's about it. We have a basic walking animation. And everything you see here is absolutely free. And we're going to try to keep it that way, way as well. Um, so what we're going to do now is... Firstly, I want to start working with animation states so that we can disable like when we can do another animation and not so that's going to be the priority for this video we're going to see how far we get maybe i'm going to start you know working with the root motion disable and things like that so um in your uh, folder i'm going to go to my animations folder and i'm going to create a new folder called anim anim states and I'm gonna right click create a new blueprint class it's gonna be of the actor class the top one I'm lying to you it's not gonna be about from the actor class right click blueprint and we're gonna go to all classes and what we're gonna find here is animation state State. Anim notify state is what it's called. Um, do I have this from before? Anim notify state. Let's call it. So select it and call it uh, state underscore is playing animation might might change this later but the state is called is playing animation so what is it that we're doing now um, I'm gonna explain this to you why it's nice to work with these uh, we're gonna do animation states for damage and things like that later as well but I'm just gonna try to explain what it is that we're actually doing here um, so if you go to your roll montage, uh, you can see that the problem here is that when I press space multiple times, it cancels the previous one without it being finished. So we need to control, control that somehow. So what we want to do is create a variable called is playing animation we might change the name of this later but uh, actually we're gonna rename it to can take action which can we take another action basically so in the states we're gonna move it state can take action perfect so before we do something we want to see if this action is if we can take an action basically so before the pressed we want to make a check can take action if can take action is true then we can actually do something for instance, dodge roll. We're also gonna check this before we make uh, make attacks and things like that. Uh, but for now, let's plug it in when where we do the dodge roll. And as default, set it to true. Does not need to be replicated or anything. And so, what do we do now? Basically, what you want to do here is you want to decide how long. Like, okay, where can I? do 
another dodge roll or where can I break this to do an attack um, so just on notifiers right click add notify state and you have your state can take action here so there's a difference between the notify state and the animation notifier the difference is the animation notifier <coughs> you could create a new notify we're gonna do that later as well so what you could do is you could create a notify called disable action and one called enable action basically but why states are nice is that for the first is we only need one state so we don't need to like work with a lot of notifiers and the thing with a state as well is that even if the animation is interrupted here the state is gonna be cancelled so it does not need to complete the entire state whereas if you have two notifiers one for the start action and one for the end action if the animation were to be interrupted at, at half the animation your end notification would never pop which means that if we were controlling this with for instance two for two notifiers and we maybe take damage during the roll animation and we need to um, we, we need to interrupt the rolling animation with a uh, take damage animation reaction then we would never trigger the last notifier I hope that's a good explanation but what this does is that even if the animation is cancelled after half the animation it's still gonna end the uh, state so open the blueprint state can take action so the thing is uh, what is this? Why, why, why is it useful? <coughs> it's useful because we have the override states here, over, override effects. We have a begin and we have an end and we have a tick, but we're gonna use the begin and end. So what do we wanna do? From the mesh component that, com that owns the animation at the current moment, which is gonna be your player, cast to player, no, get controller get the play controller mm. get owner actually is better just get the owner cast to player third person character which is your character and you guess it can take we're gonna set can take action to false and on the state end We're gonna set it to true again. Are you following? So when this state ends, we set this boolean to true. And when it starts, we set it to false. Which means that if I spam, it still doesn't work, of course. Uh, Bum, bum, bum. can take action is true notify begin can take action is false and we we'll set it to true again <laughs> why doesn't it work sorry mm. ah yeah I see sorry you need to do this check on the release as well bam, bam, bam. that's it bam so this is me spamming now can you see so it snaps a little bit so you just need to find the sweet spot um, bam 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 and there we are I think somewhere around here we can roll again maybe a little bit earlier even something like that oh, sorry. yeah that's fine 
Bam, look at that. And basically we're going to be using the animation states a lot. Uh, it's something that I recently started using a lot. It's useful for a lot of things. Um, so that's just one of the things. Um, I think it's whatever we need for now. Uh, I think, yeah. Also when we land, we can't, yeah. So basically, now it looks a lot better already. Now we can't spam stuff, so that's a bug. Um, that's pretty much about it for this video. I'm not sure how long you want the videos to be. I think like it doesn't really make sense for me to start another, to start something else right now. It's better to keep them short. If I can, some things I might not be able to keep short, but this is pretty shortable. Let's just see so that it's replicating. It should, but I just want to make sure. I'm not sure why this wouldn't replicate, but... So there is a tiny, tiny bug where you sometimes jump. It's not even a bug actually, it's expected behavior. I think it's fine for now. Uh, so yeah, eventually I think we are gonna also add, we're gonna add some, uh, we're gonna be disabling root motion for the first like 0 0.5, 0 0.1 second or something when we start animation so that the, uh, so that you actually roll in the way in your movement direction in the in the way you actually press your w w a s d buttons uh, i'm gonna do that when we do the attacks probably because a lot more people will be asking that question in relation to attacks like how do i attack in the movement direction so we're gonna be adding roll rolling and attacking in the movement direction but we'll do uh, weapons and uh, attack animations first and yeah that's about it see you in the next video and let me know if you have any questions or anything you are wondering about okay thanks bye